back to my channel again for another weekly video. So this week I'm actually doing something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now because I've been adding loads of kind of little bits and pieces to my room and I decided, you know what, why not do a room tour and let you guys have a bit of a look around at some of the things I've been adding to my room recently. I haven't really done any kind of other videos in this kind of style before so I really hope you do enjoy it and let's get straight into the tour. So this is what you see as you walk into my room. As you can see I have my table on the right hand side of my room and the bed on the left hand side. The blind is currently closed because the sun's in a really annoying place. I wanted to let the natural light in for filming this but unfortunately the sun's not gonna go along with it. <laughs> so this is my main table area which I use for doing my work and editing. I love the fact that this table is so wide. It came from Ikea, I will leave a link down below in the description bar where you can get it. I then have this chair at my desk which is also from Ikea which I'll leave a link to down below as well. Starting at the right hand side of my table I have my handy pot of Vaseline there which I always keep handy because I literally always get dry lips and always need to use it. I then here have my stack of hair bands as I just find it useful to keep them handy. I then also have here Michael Kors Wanderlust Perfume as this is the one that I'm currently using a lot and I always find it useful to keep whichever perfume I'm currently using handy so that I always remember to put it on as I leave my room to go out and then there's just some hair clips there which are also useful and then this cute baby picture in this little heart frame which I believe was from a shop called Casa but I don't remember because I got it ages ago but if I happen to find any similar one or anything like it, I'll link it down below. And then as you move along, I've got this lamp here, which I actually got at a boot sale or something ages ago, so I don't really know where exactly it was from, but I just remember it was a really good buy and I was really proud of myself for getting that. Then I've got this little makeup mirror, which is great for just doing my makeup every day, although I generally do my makeup in the bathroom, but occasionally I do do it in my bedroom, so that's useful. I then have this clear set of drawers which are like your typical makeup organisers which are great for just putting bits and pieces in. I use them on a daily basis just to sort of shove any tickets in or any kind of bits and pieces that are important to soon be used. Then I just also keep my laptop over here with this marble decal sticker on it. I have, I believe, mentioned this in a favourites video before, but if you haven't seen it, then you can order this off Amazon and it's really not that expensive at all. I will leave a link to that down below. Then over here, there's my two stationery pots with all my pens and pencils handy for doing my work. And these two pots were both from Ikea once again, so I will be sure to link those in the description down below so you can buy them. Then over here I have this bottle, which was actually the bottle of cover that I had for my 18th. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I'm obsessed with rose gold and I saw this bottle and could not get rid of it. So it's kind of been added to a table decoration now. And then coming over here, you've got my TV, which is just a normal LG TV with a little TV box attached. To it. Then here is a sort of stack of books that I use on a daily basis. So I've got this little cute paper chase book which I use for making to-do lists which I love to do on a daily basis because I'm such a listy person. Then here is a book I use for planning videos. Then also here I have my yearly diary planner of just sort of events and things are coming up. Then as part of my desk here, the drawers you can buy with the desk, they're from Ikea. I'm sure you've seen loads of these drawers in previous videos as many people use them to put their makeup in. And then I've also got this cupboard here which goes with the drawers which I keep all kind of perfumes and hand creams and things like that handy so they're easy to access and use and it fits in really nicely with this table as well. And then on the other side underneath this side of the table I have another set of drawers where I keep all my kind of shorts and leggings and trousers, so all my bottom halves really of clothing. In this corner I also have a guitar here, although I haven't really played it for a long time. It was just one summer I decided to try and teach myself the guitar. Now it just kind of sits there for decoration, but maybe I'll start playing it again one day. Moving up over here, I have a series of fairy lights up this wall, which I think looks really pretty and also makes the room feel really cosy, especially in the winter. And these are actually separate strands of copper wired lights that I've twisted together 
and hung up here using a pin which has worked really effectively as it is only a small wall I couldn't find a curtain light string set that was short enough but I find that this has worked really well then over here I have my shelf on which I keep a set of candles here these all smell amazing so there's this one at the front here which says imagine your next wonderlust from Bershka and it's sort of a vanilla -y, cinnamon -y kind of smell then there's this pink one here from Ikea and the white one behind it over to the right is also from Ikea and then a little paper chase one here with some owls on it which is really cute and then moving over here I have got this light up S letter which I love and that was actually from a sort of garden centre type place but I mean you can buy a lot of these light up letters in so many different places now then there's also this jar here which I bought from Tiger and inside it's got these lovely coppery kind of lights which I think look really effective in a jar like this and they look really pretty when they're off as well just because the wire is such a pretty colour and then I've just got this cute photo of me and my sister when we were younger which she gave me for my 18th birthday then moving over this way on this wall I have these two prints which you've probably seen in the background of videos before I love both of them they're the Coco Chanel symbol and I love the fact that this one here is so bright and colourful and then there's the black and white one there to contrast it and I just love both of them so much. Then over to the other side of my room I of course have my bed which is probably the key element to any kind of bedroom and I love my cushions so I have this massive collection along the back here as you can see majority of them are coming from Primark they start over here right in the corners from Primark so is this grey one this big pink fluffy one which is so soft it's amazing and there's this big grey one pink one at the end here is from Dunn Stores and so is I believe this pink fluffy one but I did buy that a while ago now so I don't know if you'll still be able to get it then I have this new bedding here and as you probably can already tell from my computer I love marble print and so I'm so happy that I found this I was looking for marble bedding for so long and I found this set in Urban Outfitters and it really wasn't that expensive either my actual bed is from Ikea and what I love about it is that if I lift the bedding up it's actually got these two massive drawers here which can store so much I've literally got so much junk shoved in them so I don't think I'm gonna open them but they are literally massive and then what's also great is this under part of the bed also pulls out to form a second bed so I currently have two mattresses on my bed but then you can transfer one over to the second bed when it pulls out and it creates a double bed effect but as my room's quite small I generally keep it tucked under but it's great for when people come over to stay as it's really easy and quick to pull out and over in this corner just next to my bed I have this bean bag which was from Dunn Stores and I just kind of use this as my bedside table really it just currently has my TV remote sat on it as you move across this way from my bed there is my pin board here which I love to just put loads of photos on as you can see and then the lights around it I love my fairy lights as you can probably tell are these cute little rose lights which I found in Primark and then of course there is my Justin calendar on there as well because I just gotta have that then right in the corner over here I have got this long full-length mirror which I got from a shop called Super Skunk and I bought it again a little while ago but I'm sure that they should still hopefully have it and again because I've got quite a small room it's quite a slim mirror and it fits nicely into the corner then moving down next to my mirror at the bottom of my bed I've got a variety of shoes here <laughs> which I should probably really sort out because I don't know when I last wore some of them and then right over to this far side is where you find my wardrobe over on this side which we first open up is where I keep all my kind of t-shirts and things like that and then over on this opposite side is where I keep more of my hoodies and jackets so that was my room tour for you guys today I really do hope that you enjoyed it and please let me know if you did by smashing that big thumbs up down below and I would really appreciate it and also while you're down there please click that little red subscribe button too because I would love it if you could and you know if you still like it as well 
you're always welcome to click that little notification bell next to that subscribe button too. I really hope you did enjoy this style of video and let me know in the comments down below if you did and if you'd like to see any future videos of a similar kind of style and what you would like to see as well. I'm open to any of your suggestions of things that you'd love to see in the future and I will be sure to see you next week with another weekly video.